I want to welcome our guests. They're friends of the garden. It's Alexandra Sainer and Lisa Bacon Inc. Bank Baker Inc. Baker Inc. All right, Baker Inc. nice yes. to see you both. You. Good morning. Yeah. So, good morning. What have we here? What's going on with Friends of the Garden? Yeah, so we're getting ready to celebrate our uh, annual Butterfly Festival, which is this Saturday from 9 to 3. It's a celebration of our all-native butterfly house at Nathaniel Green Close Memorial oh, yes. Park, Springfield Botanical Gardens. And it's just a day to celebrate uh, our native species and to get outside and get some education on, on everything that's going on out at the park. We love that. Jeremy, are you looking at what I'm looking I, at? Yet? Yes, I do. I want to get, if we can get tight. Oh, okay. Am I allowed to tilt this you for bet. the camera? Yeah. I don't want to hurt anything because no. there are living creatures in here. So, oh. Sinjin, I think I'm going to point this one maybe to you or whoever's getting the tight shot. If you look right down here in this corner, mm -hmm. there's a cute little caterpillar peeking over the edge. Uh, does he want there that we go. in his face? I don't know. I don't. Oh, I can't tell. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Now, is this a cat? Am I right? Is this a caterpillar? It is. It's a, a spice, spice bush swallowtail caterpillar. They are so That's beautiful. The it colors. And, yeah. and I look down there, and these eyes are just looking right over there. See, aren't they he's got so the eyes now. Look yeah, at that. Look at that. Oh Isn't my that gosh. so cute? And those are actual um, just spots on its body meant to look like he's a bigger. bigger oh, 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 oh my God. God. I'm so sorry. I didn't know he was on there. He's on the <laughs> Now, can, can they, this do they, they just crawl face. like that? Okay, let's get oh, a, yeah. let me move that, oh, yeah. let me get a shot And there's that. one in here, too. <laughs> oh, and there's one! <laughs> they make little homes inside leaves. I had leaves. no idea, I wouldn't <laughs> have pulled that off. I'm not kidding you, there are two caterpillars on this you know, thing. Like, <laughs> this, this leaf is pretty heavy. That. Look, he's in there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, these will turn into the butterflies, They'll correct? Turn into a beautiful spice bush swallowtail, which is a black butterfly with some blue on its bottom, <laughs> no. wing, bottom wing. Is that what we normally see? Is that a, a yeah. pretty normal one? Yeah, these one are that we all see? native to our area. Oh, and... here's a really good shot of this one. Look at this one. He's just sitting there enjoying life. Now, I love caterpillars. I, mm -hmm. you know, as a kid, you'd play with them. Sure. Look how cute he is. Yes, he's adorable. And at the Butterfly Festival, we have a caterpillar petting zoo. So we have um, different plants set up. Of course, they're specialists, so they only eat, each caterpillar only eats a particular kind of plant. Okay. And um, people can just come up and pet them. Oh, oh my goodness, oh, I want to pet them. I, I love caterpillars. Yeah. Wow, they're it's very so soft. soft. Yeah. Yeah. And they're wow. such sweet little babies. I just love anything living. I mean, I just love animals in that general. That's amazing. And now, what I'm also looking, here's the caterpillars, but I see, are these cocoons? These are chrysalis because they're butterflies. Uh, cocoons are moths. Okay. Oh. Um, so these are the chrysalis of this particular species. Can I hold one? Swish, so here's what this looks like. Look at that. It almost looks like the caterpillar's body. But it's just like a hard version of it. Right. Mm -hmm. So a caterpillar sh uh, molts, sheds its skin uh, five times in its life cycle, and the last time it sheds its skin, the chrysalis is underneath. Wow. And then it hardens oh, goodness. and basically turns to green goo, and then somehow a butterfly comes out <laughs> in about nine to ten days. It's just a green goo. Yeah. That's yeah. a scientific term for it. Green goo. Yeah, green goo. Isn't the process amazing? It really? is amazing. It's, yeah. And the butterfly house is really significant because um, there's a lesson in ecology, and as the primary consumers in any ecosystem, we have to care about the little things that keep yeah. our environment mm -hmm. healthy. Uh, but it's also a very spiritual thing for a lot of people, and it's a lesson in renewal and rebirth. And Absolutely. Like so. People <clears throat> refer to themselves sometimes as as this coming right? out of the yeah. cocoon or yeah. whatever into a butterfly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it is kind of spiritual. Yeah, it really is. And not to be outdone, we uh, we also oh, want to celebrate sorry. our native moths. This is a Luna moth right here. Okay, so that's a moth. That's a moth. The things yeah. you try to keep out of your closet. <laughs> no, it, this is different. It's a okay, different family it's different of families. moths. Let me turn this that back that way. This is part of the large, um, Beautiful. the large silk moth family. Oh, and so okay. you have Polyphemus and Luna and, Cer Luna and Cercropia. And uh, they actually only live for about five days <gasps> as a moth. And they don't eat. They just mate and lay eggs and produce the next generation. So, um, so every generation is five days of a gen That's the generation, five days? Uh, no, the generation is um, from the egg to oh, the adult. to the adults. Yes. So yeah. what's that lifespan then? Uh, so a caterpillar, it's an egg for about three to five days. A caterpillar, depending on the species, for two to four weeks and then um, the adult version of either the butterfly or the moth, whichever you're talking so about. So if you see that, that's pretty special. We don't see that. I haven't seen this I've very not often. Seen that one, no. You don't see them because mo most moths fly at night. That's one of the differences between butterflies and moths. There, there is a few, some overlap there, but um, so yeah, and, unless you have these uh, like 
in a container or in a netted structure for people to look at, which we do in the butterfly house. You won't necessarily see these unless you're out at night. And what is this one you're holding? This is, this is the cocoon of okay. the Luna Moth. The Luna Moth. Mm -hmm. And it's a little, they're all a little bit different. This is a polyphemus, which I don't have mm -hmm. an adult version, but see the difference in their cocoon. Totally different, yeah. Yeah. Wow. This, the, this is wonderful that people get to learn. Um, this event that's coming up, when is it? It's this Saturday from 9 to 3. Okay. And I see, and do you have, can you list up some of the stuff that's going to be happening at the event? Absolutely. Yeah. So um, we'll have the Master Gardeners. Um, it's an educational program for children, and it's called Young Sprouts in the Garden. So they'll have a ton of um, hands-on educational activities and crafts that they can take home. Um, we'll have the, of course, the Butterfly House will be open in the petting zoo, the Caterpillar Petting yes. Zoo. Yes. Yes. Um, we'll have magic shows by the Instars, or they're also known as the Fish and Magicians, mm -hmm. and story times with the Springfield Green County Library District. And there's going to be a pollinator costume contest, free to enter for kids 10 and younger. And it is so much fun to see all these kids in all these costumes. And the um, contest is followed by a pollinator parade. So all the kids get to parade through um, the festival, which is a lot of fun. This sounds great. Yes. Yeah. And it goes on. We have um, 30 vendors. The Mizumoto Japanese Stroll Garden will be free to enter all day. I love that garden. Uh -huh. it's, it's beautiful. Gorgeous. It's um, authentic, authentic Japanese landscaping. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Gray Campbell Farmstead will also be open for tours. And you can find more information at friendsofthegarden.org slash butterfly dash festival. I love this. Mm -hmm. Is this something you've done for a few years? Yes, this is a, the Butterfly House opened in 2009. Uh, so this is the, and we've had a festival every time, so this is our 10th, actually our 11th season, but we're celebrating 10. 10. Yeah. 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 So 10 years of celebrating pollinators. This is great. Yeah. All right, this Saturday. Thank I just you. feel so relaxed now. I, I don't know what it is. I love these guys. Had another caterpillar. Oh, look at <laughs> and there's a little tiny one that looks slimy like he just got born or something. Oh. So that's the a different instar stage. So that's the same same species. But at that stage, they look like bird poop. That's their they, defense. I didn't want to say that because I don't yeah. want to be rude, but it does look like bird poop. Thank you, ladies, so much. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. And so on that note, we will go to break. It's right but there. we'll be back right after this. Don't go anywhere. That's the bird poop looking one. She said it, I didn't. <laughs> look at it, though. Oh, he loves you, Jeremy. Oh. Look at him. Oh, look at these little eyes looking.